Yeah, Jack Gordian, also known as Gordian. Uh, welcome to Australian Musician. Cheers, Greg. How are you doing? I'm not too bad. So what's your isolation situation? You alone? You with people? Uh, I've actually just moved back home with my parents at the moment. So it's a bit different. I haven't really lived with my parents since I was about 14. So it's, um, yeah, it's something pretty different. Yeah. So what plans uh, did you have for 2020 that you had to put aside? Uh, so basically, I was just doing a lot of busking um, before, like pre-COVID, I suppose. I um, I was planning on doing a lot more down in like Byron Bay area. Um, I've just been doing it up on the Gold Coast and just gigging. Um, but yeah, obviously, it's sort of um, put those plans back for a while. But um, yeah, hoping to get back into all that sort of stuff a bit later in the year. Yeah. So what are your revised plans? What have you been doing? Are you looking to do some more writing or recording? Do you have some recording gear with you? Yeah, yeah, I've got recording gear and um, I have been doing a little bit of writing. I hope to probably do a little bit more um, than I have been. It's sort of just a funny transition, especially moving and all that sort of stuff. Um, but now that I'm sort of settled, um, I've got my space and, yeah, I'm, I'm going to plan on doing a lot more sort of just making demos and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, even in this yeah time, and then get, get back into a studio sort of after everything cools off a bit. Yeah. So, what are the tools that you use to document your song ideas? Uh so I used to be a pen and paper sort of bloke, but mm. um, I don't know. It's sort of it's really hard to organise on pen and paper. I find, um, and like for years, I sort of travelled and and wrote a lot in books, and I've got a lot of books with songs in them, but. More recently, in like the last year, I suppose, I do it all on my laptop. I do like notes and then on my phone notes as well and just voice memos. Um, they're like massive key in anyone's songwriting these days, I think. It's just, yeah, just remembering those, even melodies and stuff like that. Yeah. So you've been passing your time watching uh, any live streams by other artists? Yeah, yeah. I've been watching heaps of live streams, actually. Just like... Mostly the Instagram ones, I suppose, just because they're really um, easily accessible and like, just on your phone all the time. But like Dermot Kennedy, been loving him. Um, he like I've been getting really into the interviews as well, um, and just like sort of funny things like Wild Rivers. Um, Dev out of that band did a um, she did like a cooking show the other day, and it was pretty funny. And people just like asking her questions about the band and all that sort of stuff, and just like making cookies, and yeah, it was pretty cool. But I actually really like it and um, it's brought everyone to do a lot more live streaming and even myself, like I would, like the size of the artist I am, I would never have thought to do live streaming um, and never had the confidence probably to do it pre this sort of pandemic. But now that it's the only way to really connect with like the people that are following us, um, it's pushed us all to do it and it's really good. Like I, I really enjoy it, thoroughly enjoy it. Yeah, uh, you've got a live stream coming up on April 30, I believe. Um, what have you got planned and uh, where can people see that one? Yeah, so I've got it planned. So I did, a, I did one on the first as well. I and mean, then I've just been doing like a few little ones on Instagram as well, um, just pop up sort of things. And that, they're really fun as well. But the one on the 30th, um, it's like I've been working on my sound a lot. Um, so the one on the first, I had like a full sort of professional sound that I was doing myself there. Um, but it probably wasn't right up to scratch that I really wanted it to be. It was still like a really like fun and good show, but it was sort of like just the first time I'd ever done anything like that. Um, so I've just been working on it a lot. And my one on the 30th, I just plan to be really similar to the one that I had on the first, but um, a lot, a lot more professional, I suppose, than in the sound, especially. Yeah. yeah. Uh, TV shows is your new single. Uh, what was the starting point for that song? Uh, the starting point was about six years ago I started writing that. Um, I, I was living in Canada, in, um, in like in, right in the middle of Canada actually, in a place called Saskatchewan. And I was working on a farm there and just went over there with a few mates. And um, it's actually sort of really where I got into playing guitar and singing. I was, um, I just go into like a grain silo every afternoon. I don't know if you know what that is or not. And I just taught myself to sing and play guitar and yeah, I started writing TV shows in there and I finished it probably like end of last year. It was such a long process. I was like, not all my songs take that long, by the way. It's, that's like ridiculously long, but it was just like this journey like of emotions. And then, yeah, to finish it, it, was, it just felt so cool. And like to have it out there, yeah, I absolutely love it. So 
and you uh, you got to make a film clip just in time before, yeah, before, yeah. before lockdown. We, we, yeah, yeah, we, we just, just got, got one in, in. Um, like literally, literally just. It was um, pretty crazy, but and the weather, like I was living on the Gold Coast at the time, the weather just was not doing any favours for us. It was just raining all the time. Um, but now we got it done, and yeah, it was so much fun. Um, and I'm doing like a lot of research now into what I want my future video clips to look like if I am ever fortunate enough to be able to make them again. But um, yeah, no, nah, so much fun making a music video. Um, I wanted to talk about uh, your guitars. Uh, one that I see often in your photos is a Maiton guitar. Where did you get that and what do you like about the Maiton? Um, yeah, so I got my um, Road Series 808C. Last year, actually, I had a, I had like a mini Maiton before that, an EMM, like full mahogany, just, yeah, tiny little guitar. And it was so cool. Um, I had an AP5 as well, which is the pickup, same pickup in my Maiton now. Um, and yeah, I just absolutely love the sounds and the feel of the guitar, especially on stage. Um, they're so, so easy to use and just their, their pickup systems are incredible and just put out the best sounds. So that's sort of what I always, um, use now when I'm performing, but yeah, when I'm writing, I've also got a guitar that I've built. I've got a uke, I've got, um, just, uh, an electric, like a Squire as well. Um, and yeah. Uh, tell me about the guitar you built. Where did you get your uh, your luthier skills from? Yeah, so when I was in high school, I, we, were, we were in woodwork and just a few of the boys were all talking about like, what we were going to do and I sort of said, oh, yeah, I'm going to make a guitar. And I, at this point in time, I could play like three chords on a guitar, like I could do nothing. And, um, and yeah, it's, everyone just said, oh, you're definitely not going to make a guitar. And I ended up making a guitar and a stand as well. Um, but I went to this place called Gillett Guitars in Sydney and um, Jeff Gillett, he was like the head luthier there and he, like I'd go there probably for half of the process of building a guitar and then I built half of it just in the workshop at school. Um, but yeah, it's such an awesome process and like, I suppose, yeah, it's just, it's just so different, like being able to build an instrument and then actually go and use it. And I used to perform with it so often. The only reason I don't really perform with it now is just because I want to conserve it for like as long as possible. I don't really want to like thrash it on stage and stuff. But, um, but yes, yeah, just this really awesome experience being able to build your own instrument. Can you see yourself doing it again, building another one? Yeah, definitely. Um, sort of one of my biggest goals, I suppose, is to actually like have a workshop like I love working with Timber anyway like one of my biggest fantasies is just building all the furniture in my house one day but um I'd love to have a little setup there with all the tools to be yeah a luthier and just make my own guitars it'd be so cool yeah so what are you missing most about normal life um I was thinking about this yesterday it's just busking I really miss busking um and every day like I try and do it online as much as possible, but it's obviously not the same as having the actual sort of crowd there and like just that like adrenaline rush of actually like just going to a place where no one's really expecting you to pop up um, and then just starting to play music and like people appreciate it. It's um, it's probably, yeah, my favourite part of being a musician, just performing in general, but busking I suppose at the moment and yeah, something I really miss at the moment, but it'll come back. It'll be all good. So what are the goals for 2021 now? 2021? Well, like 2020, I've actually still got a lot on. Um, I'm planning on releasing four more singles this year. So um, I was going to do videos with all of them as well, except it's obviously really hard at the moment. So I'm just at home, like, making lyric videos and stuff on Photoshop. Um, But, yeah, I plan on getting all those songs out and then, I don't know, like 2021, I sort of maybe plan to just do a bit more sort of touring, even if it's busking or whatever. Um, and just, yeah, just keep building an audience and, um, yeah, writing. But I suppose like 2021, maybe release a few more songs, but hopefully by 2022 have like a couple of solid EPs or an album ready to go sort of thing as well. Yeah. So what's the best place to find out uh, more about your music? Um, probably just my Instagram. I'm pretty lazy with like my Facebook and stuff like that. 
I um yeah, I interact a fair bit on Instagram. And yeah, that's probably the best place to follow me with my music. And what's the address of the Instagram account? Uh, it's just Gordian, G A U D I O N underscore music. Um, yeah, and I, I read, yeah, very regularly I put up stories and stuff, just even myself singing new songs, um, information, yeah. All right, Jack, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks a lot, Greg. Thanks for having me, mate.